Hey guys, we are doing a tag video today. This is the nail polish obsession tag and of course a tag like this would be fitting for me. I was tagged from Hannah. I was tagged by Hannah from Eve Believe Beauty. I will link her uh, channel and her video here or down here or somewhere both places probably you can find her info it is 10 questions so let's jump into it number one is what's your favorite nail polish company this is kind of hard for me to choose I like um, different things about different brands so there's certain things I like about OPI there's certain things I like about China glaze there's certain things I like about Zoya so I'm just gonna tell you like some of my more favorites. Um, I really like China Glaze. I love their color selection. I love the price. I love that I can get them discounted. Um, I do like OPI's formulas and I like how wide the brush is on OPI, but I hate how expensive they are and how they never go on sale. And I really do like Zoya a lot too. I don't own a ton of Zoya, maybe like 20 or so. So my Zoya collection isn't that big, but they are phenomenal formulas. I love their colors and they do go on sale and I can get them for cheaper than how, you know, OPI doesn't. So OPI, I really hate that you do that by the way. Just give us a sale sometimes. Number two, glitter or no glitter? I would have to say both. I love me a good cream. I love a good cream manicure, but I love my glitter too. I love topping glitter over things. I love pairing different colors with glitter. So for me, it is kind of both, just kind of depending on what I, the mood I'm in. I do seem to kind of go through phases where like, I'm either putting glitter all over all my manicures or I'm not using much glitter. So just depends on my day. Number three, OPI, China Glaze, or Essie. Out of those three, I definitely have to pick China Glaze. I do like Essie, but I don't know. Their formulas are so hit and miss. Like, Essie, it seems like every collection that comes out for me is just like, go doop, 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 just knocking itself down my ladder a little bit more. The colors don't seem that unique to me. I feel like I can get, get the colors in other places. I, like I said, I their formulas are kind of crappy more more times than not so I'm just kind of over SE and OPI like I mentioned I like OPI but they're expensive and I feel like honestly their color collection in general is kind of still considered to be a classic you know collection and kind of like a classic company like when I think of OPI the first thing that comes to my head is like pinks and reds and so I mean, they do have other colors, don't get me wrong. I just don't feel like that's their strength. I feel their strength in their company is their classic colors, hence why they put a red out with almost every single collection that they have. They're just kind of, you know, they're sticking to that classic. Whereas with China Glaze, like when I first think of them, I think of like neons and bright colors and different things besides just pink and red so and I like China Glaze that they're cheaper and you can get them online for three dollars and 25 cents a bottle and I just I love my China Glaze I love the colors I mean the brush is a little bit skinnier but honestly that doesn't really bother me I, I think the pros outweigh the cons a lot more number four when do you change your nail polish so I typically do a manicure once maybe twice a week um it really depends on how much like free time I have. If I have more free time that week, I might paint my nails more. Or I do like a lot of like just playing around with polish. So I might go for like a day or two without really wearing anything. But I'm like practicing on my nails or trying new techniques and that kind of stuff. I would like to say that I would like to do my nails more just because I do have so much polish and I would like to use it more often. But in reality I don't have that much time to do my nails every single day or multiple times a week and honestly it's not like I'm leaving it on my nails for like weeks at a time I mean five days is usually my average turnaround time for a manicure so I mean I'm still doing them pretty frequently number six darks or brights this one's easy brights 100 and million percent I like my dark polishes don't get me wrong they've got their place I will do them in the winter time but oh I'm just drawn to the bright colors 
I really am. I just, I love brights. I think they, they're they so, they're a lot more fun. They kind of show your personality more. You can mix colors more. I just feel like there's more you can do with them. I mean, a, a dark can be so dark that, you know, you can't always pair it with the colors you want. And sometimes you can't even pair it with anything at all, depending on the shade and all that kind of stuff. So definitely brights. Number seven is what are you wearing on your nails at this moment? A mess. <laughs> a mess. On this hand, I've got a splatter mani that I did and I was just feeling lazy and didn't want to do my other hand. And I also had just bought these Zoya colors that I had really wanted to play with. And so I just painted them on here just so that I wouldn't have so my nails wouldn't be completely blah. Um, but once I take this off, I'm going to repaint this and do a manicure with these colors, I think. So yeah, a mess right now. Number eight, matte nails, in or out? For me, they're kind of out. Um, I feel like as a whole in general, I don't think that matte nails are going to go away. I think that people will continue to do them. Um, but for me personally, I would much prefer a shiny manicure as opposed to a matte manicure. I think you can do some really cool effects with matte, but like a whole matte nail is kind of blah to me. I think it's cool to do like polka dots that are maybe matte or a matte base with shiny polka dots, something like that. I think that's really cool. Um, so I mean, they have their place, they have their purpose, but it's not my favorite thing to do. Number nine is French manicure. I think it's like asking, do you like French manicures? But the question is just French manicure. Um, I like like cool different twists on French manicures. I think a normal traditional French manicure is boring and way too overdone. And that's all you ever see. You know, everyone goes and gets acrylic nails and they do French manicures and blah, whatever. I want to see like a chevron tip or maybe like a polka dotted French manicure or a glitter tip or you know something like that just jazz it up make it different I like the concept of just doing something you know on your t the tips of your nails but don't just do a French manicure twist it make it new make it original that's that's what I've done and that's what I'll continue to do I don't think I've ever done a just a traditional French manicure on myself Number 10 is a favorite winter color, but I'm assuming it means like the season you're in. So I'm going to take it to me now, like spring and summer, like what your favorite color would be. And honestly, I have thought about this and I really wanted to pick like a certain shade or a certain just color in general. And I just can't do it. I love so many different colors. I just cannot pick like one that rules above them all. I mean, I really do love coral. I do, I love coral so much, but there's so many other ones that I love too that it's hard for me to pick just one. So my answer for this is just gonna go back to the brights and the neons. I love brights, I love neons. I really just love how they pop, how they look. And that's just what I'm gonna pick. I mean, I love bright greens and I love I love bright pastel colors like the lighter kind of like grass is lime greener or um what's another one son of a peach that's another one too um I just really like like the lighter colors that are like super bright and in your face I think those are so pretty because they're kind of like an illusion almost because they're a lighter shade but they're so bright and BAM that you just can't help but notice them so I think that's what I'm gonna pick is like the lighter bright colors because I just I just think they are so pretty so that was the tag video just kind of 10 questions about nail polish I always do enjoy answering questions about nail polish because I feel like you guys can kind of get to know my nail polish taste a little bit better and just kind of me in general a little bit better so I do like doing tag videos I'm not gonna tag anybody specifically to do this video if you like the questions and you make videos or you have a blog and you want to do the questions I encourage you please please do it and link the your video or your blog or whatever down below because I would love to come check your stuff out and learn about you too.
I hope that you guys enjoyed the video. Like always, I do appreciate the time that you take to watch my videos, my blog, and Instagram, and everything will be listed down below. And until next time, I hope you guys are having a fantastic day. And don't forget, peace, love, and polish. Bye-bye. Thank you.